Hey, welcome to Ready Rosie. Come on in. We're here based in downtown Denton, Texas. This is the Hickory Building, uh, formerly known as the Russell Department Store. This used to be, uh, so it has a great history in town, but come on into our offices. Welcome to Ready Rosie, uh, our offices. Ready Rosie is an early childhood software company. We partner with thousands of schools across the country as they're seeking to partner uh, with the families of the children they serve. Uh, you know, getting parents experience of doing things at home to support their child's learning in the classroom is important during normal circumstances. Uh, but imagine how much that has evolved and changed now during a global pandemic where there's a lot of schools that have remote uh, learning as a result. So Ready Rosie, while you don't see anyone working here because everyone now is remote thanks to this pandemic, uh, we actually are quite busy. Uh, our sales have tripled over the last year alone, uh, thanks in large part due to the new change of circumstances for children and families. Uh, but we're very excited uh, to, to be one of the few <laughs> parts of this economy uh, that has been able to continue to thrive during this time. Uh, but what you see here is a lot of kind of artifacts of, uh, of, of a global pandemic. Over here, uh, you'll see some boxes that we had ready uh, to be shipped out for some trainings that were supposed to happen this summer, some conference materials. We were doing printings just the day before we got shut down. Uh, all that, of course, is on hold as everything now is remote. You even see uh, a ton of PP <laughs> materials and hand washing materials just to support when we do come back uh, again. But this would be, everything here is co-working. So all the spaces here are meant to be modular as people have bigger group meetings, smaller group meetings, have to be on uh, the line with the customer. Uh, no one really has their own desk per se. This is our kind of reception area, I guess you could say, but this is mostly where our team will come and have a more casual conversation. Uh, maybe have a drink, enjoy lunch, whatever uh, they happen to be doing uh, at the time. I want to show you another interesting museum of coronavirus. Hillary, who is our awesome lead support person, uh, she left that office the day that we were told we had to be all remote. And as you can see, that is in pristine condition as what it was when she left. <laughs> so it could be in a museum someday. The other thing you'll notice about a pivot to this office is we have uh, started uh, homeschooling our children as they're all remote. I teach them uh, philosophy and world history uh, a couple days a week. And so they come to the office to do that. So that's why you see this fun stuff up here. It's my trusted bike. Takes me to work most days. Come on back. We'll show you some more. This is our little snack center that's dwindled since I'm the only one working here now. But, you know, we have all the essentials in place uh, as necessary. Come on in here. This is probably one of the top office spaces in all of downtown Denton, simply because of what you're able to see um, here. You see the courthouse out there, uh, a bustling downtown area, um, which fortunately is becoming more bustling. Um, but uh, this is a great place to be. It's especially got a really cool vibe in the evening. I can come in here and just have a little light on and see the lights of downtown. Uh, but my role as vice president of new sales is I'm supporting a sales team of 50 people across the country uh, in selling Ready Rosie resources to schools all over. Uh, so most of my day is spent uh, on webinars, supporting sales members directly, or even just directly talking to some potential customers uh, as they're trying to learn more about um, our resources. But I, so I converted what used to be a great little conference room into my own office because I'm the only one here. So it's exciting. Coming around in here, the other aspect to our new partnership with uh, the company that acquired us is their name Teaching Strategies. They just happen to be embarking in a new what's called a pre-K curriculum adoption across the state of Texas. So the Texas legislature uh, requires schools to adopt a new pre-K curriculum about every 10 years. This is that year that they're doing that. So you see some boxes, our team's helping support that because of our boots on the ground in Denton and our familiarity with the Texas education market. So there's a lot, that's about a $50 million opportunity uh, here at Cross Texas. So we're excited to be uh, supporting that in here, but it's kind of a storage room. Come on back here, I'll take you to our executive office suite. Our president, Emily Roden, also happens to be my wife. This is her office. She hasn't been here since the pandemic started. She's working from our attic uh, at home. This is our CFO's John Campbell's uh, office. Likewise, uh, he's been working out at home. So oftentimes when my kids come in here, this kind of becomes their playroom. They're hiding underneath the desk. Hence the important things like crayons and 
different types of toys and stuff like that uh, going on around here. So thank you all for coming. I'll show you the way out. Thanks for visiting Ready Rosie. <laughs> Have a good day. Hey, over here, come on in. Welcome to Bunch Bikes. My name is Aaron Powell. This is our warehouse here in uh, Denton. Um, Bunch Bikes, we make awesome family cargo bikes to carry kids, dogs, you name it. Uh, once you come check out the bike and you can just see. So it's like a bike if you attached a big box in front of the handlebars. It's got benches and seat belts for children. This one's set up to actually be able to carry dogs. So it's got a front door on the front. The dogs can hop in. Uh, we ship these things all over the country. We've got customers in every, almost every state and it's going really well. As you can see, we're building a lot of bikes today. Let's take a tour around. Our bikes are manufactured overseas. We get all the parts here, kind of store them in inventory. And then we just start breaking them down one at a time, putting them together. Kind of starts over here. Uh, in the corner kind of just unpacking things doing some prep work kind of putting some parts together um, and they make their way around the warehouse kind of in a big circle before they're ready to ship um, so you can kind of come back through this this tunnel of boxes and stuff here we got our packing and shipping area for all of our small parts accessories warranty items things like that that we're shipping out we saw a lot of accessories on the website um, Lots and lots of bubble wrap. You come on this way, and so once those bi those bikes are kind of prepped, the back half, we start assembling them here together. Um, all of our bikes, we only ship out fully assembled, which is pretty unique for a bicycle company, uh, online retailer. And so we've actually got mechanics here uh, going through every step of the process, greasing everything, tuning everything up, making sure that bike is 100% ready to ride out of the box, which is a pretty cool customer experience. This station over here is where we uh, put the boxes on, do all the little finishing details, and then Lydia checks them over before we pack them up on a pallet and ship them out to customers. You can come in here to the office, check out what our office people are doing. We got uh, Nick Bagarpour, Denton native and founder of DMAC, Denton Music Arts Collaborative. Uh, we got the shop dog here, Rada. Uh, we got Bo, who is our PR manager. Nick does all of our sales and customer service. So if you have a question about Bunch Bikes, it's probably him on the other side uh, getting back to you. So this is Bunch Bikes. We're a small operation. We started in the beginning. It was just me three years ago, 2017. Um, and I just had mechanics come in after hours from Vila Republic to help me put bikes together and ship them out. And we've grown a lot since then. We've got really six full time uh, working here and it's, you know, it just keeps growing and going. I, I'm really excited about the future of Bunch Bikes and, you know, how many people locally will be able to employ. And what I like about being in Denton is it's, you know, a smaller community where most of our employees, are, they're here local. And, um, you know, we've got that relationship with local bike shops who can help us out when we need it. Just a small local town presence is kind of cool versus being in the big city. So yeah, that's Bunch Bikes. Thanks for coming by. Welcome to From the Future. This is our world headquarters here in downtown Denton on the square in uh, North Texas. Uh, we've been here for about 10 years and let me take you inside. I'll tell you a little bit about it. So this building is the old bank building built in 1913. It was built for Denton County National Bank. And so we've been here for about 10 years, as I said, and um, we've been really, really proud to be here. There's a number of floors and uh, we're on the bottom floor and uh, we're, we're, we really like it. It's a very unique space. Uh, it's a space that uh, has some character. It's a space that has just some unique attributes to it that kind of fit our mentality, kind of fit our personality as a company. And uh, so we're real proud of it. So let's head on downstairs and I'll show it to you. Here we go, so come on in here. So right here is the entrance to our office. And as you can see, it's not a very large office space. We house about 10 to 11 folks here at any point in time. 
And uh, so right here about this space is where we usually do stand-up meetings on development and design and uh, where we are in the process with projects. Uh, From the Future is a virtual reality software development company. And so we develop uh, VR software for, um, for training, for education, for therapy, like autism therapy. Um, for training, for you know, for operational training on a construction site or at an oil and gas uh, site. So, um, for operating heavy equipment, we developed that training software for VR. So it's um, this is a great space to be able to do that. And um, and so, for example, this item right here, this was back in our old days when we were doing game development. And uh, this was pretty fun because what you what you do is you strap yourself into this and. Um, and as you play the VR game, you're fighting creatures and things of that nature just like this. And as you complete the, the level, and if you've done it successfully, then these chains break automatically for you, and then you're, you're released from the, the prison, if you will. So it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, and as we continue to move forward through the space here, um, this is the space where really everything happens. Everything happens here. We've got our space for testing right here at this this machine and then we've got this space over here where we've got all of our developers and technical folks uh, work over here and uh, this is our CTO's uh, desk here and our CEO is right here and uh, they work on programming and developing of the of the software and then these desks over here have all of our graphic design and artists um, that's the, these guys um, really do some incredible work. They, they design things from scratch, and um, uh, it's just remarkable how good their work is. Then we have some of the coolest features here in the, in the space, and I, I think that um, it's pretty unique that you get to work in a space with such historical aspects to it. So our conference room is back here, as well as our storage space. And then uh, our kitchen is over here in this vault. So these are the actual vaults that were um, used back, back in the day when this was built for Denton County National Bank. And so you can't get the experience in video, but if you were to actually try to open or close one of these doors, it's very, very heavy. It's very heavy to uh, actually move these doors. So you can see I'm, I'm really pushing on it and it's barely moving here. So that's just a really neat thing about this, this space here is that it's got such historical value in a really neat town. And, um, and there's so much technical uh, talent here for um, the tech industry is really growing and expanding here in Denton. And uh, we're really, really proud to be a leader in that tech industry development here in Denton. And um, we're, we're looking forward to doing it for a number more years. So we'll walk back out this way. And as you come this way, you can kind of see the way that we flow things as far as um, the space from the design and the programming over to the meeting and the, and the business development side of everything to the fun. And uh, as you go out the door, you see the fun as you go out the door. So thanks so much. Have a great day. Welcome to Stoke. Come on in. So Stoke is a co-working space. Um, we have been open for about four years and we are a program of the City of Denton's Economic Development Department. So what we do is work to build the economy and culture of the City of Denton through providing programming, space, and other resources and amenities to startups and remote workers. Um, so I'm going to show you around our space. We've got a little over 9,000 square feet. And like I said, we've been here for about four years. Um, co-working for us is a membership based model. So we have people that pay monthly member dues for different levels of access, whether it's co-working access where they have flexible seating, dedicated access where they have their own desk. Um, and then with those memberships, comes access to shared amenities, like this conference room. It's built into their membership, and so they're able to use it for meetings, conference calls, making presentations to clients, anything that they should need. Um, I'll take you through the main co-working space so you can see where people work. So 
So here in front are the co-working desks. We currently have about every other desk closed to make sure that there's enough physical space between everybody to make it COVID friendly. And these are flexible desks. So people, when they leave, they take their stuff with them and they might be sitting in a different desk every time. One of the exciting things that we just launched is a new program called Accelerate Her. Um, it's a startup incubator program for women entrepreneurs. And we're doing it in partnership with Texas Women's University, their center for women entrepreneurs. So we have six women owned startups that are doing, they're engaged in this incubator program. Um, and we just kicked it off last month and we are going to be wrapping it up at the end of February. So this is the office space for that program. These are our dedicated desks. So these are the members that get their own desk, they get to leave their equipment, and they also get 24 seven access to the space. Early this year, we wanted to do some space updates. And so we kind of refreshed our space. We got some new coats of paint in, um, kind of made it a warmer color. We added some furniture, just kind of added some, some nice touches. We got some art from local artists and even have a commissioned mural that I'll show you in just a second. This space is where we used to do events <laughs> when, we, when we could. Um, a lot of what we do to help entrepreneurs is provide programs, events, and co other community, um, community building to help them be successful. So we do workshops, we do networking events, We've partnered with local organizations to do their own stuff in our space. Um, so it used to be for that, and now it's just kind of expanded workspace. Um, the kitchen that you see there in the background is also one of the kind of shared amenities that we provide. So we kind of keep it stocked with coffee and tea and snacks to make sure that people have access to all the fuel that they need to get to work. So we'll go this way, we'll do the full loop. So this is the mural that I mentioned. Um, this is a commissioned art piece from two local artists, Tate and Aaron Hollingsworth. And they, um, I forget the title of the piece, but they um, were thinking about how, how community building and how many pieces make a whole. One of our other membership levels is dedicated office space. So we have eight private offices throughout the space and they are available for people to rent. They, have, they are full, they're always full, um, but we have a wide variety of different people that are in the offices. So we've got engineers, we have environmental analysts, we have Internet of Things companies, um, marketing experts. In terms of our membership as a whole, it really runs the gamut. There are tons of remote workers, freelancers, designers, um, yeah, people that want a professional, professional spot to meet and get to work. And that's our space. Thank you so much for stopping by and come back again soon.